My athletic background is I played baseball all growing up, played a little bit of football, um, played some college baseball, and then decided college sports are a little uh, the demanding side of your time. So um, decided to actually work for the fire department while I went to um, college, got my tuition and stuff paid for, and now I do CrossFit. So that's a little bit of my history as a, an athlete. My normal day kind of fluctuates, to be honest. Um, really depends on if I'm traveling. If I'm not traveling, if I'm just at home, my normal day, usually some type of interval, run or row or something in the morning with some weight lifting right after that, so Olympic lifts, um, clean and jerk or snatch. Then um, usually some type of strength movement on the slow lifts, squat, a deadlift, a press. Um, and then two or three CrossFit Metcons or circuits mixed in there somewhere. Um, and then that kind of just depends too on who's around, what's you know what's my day like, and stuff like that. So usually about three sessions of some sort doing something. CrossFit entails everything. Um, <laughs> is the best way to describe it. It's not just weightlifting. It's not just powerlifting. It's not just gymnastics. Um, it's not just running, biking, rowing, and swimming. It's it's all of it kind of mixed into one package. You don't um, you don't do the same thing every day. You you're kind of a jack of all trades versus being a specialist in one area. So um, it's it's more for for real life than just going in the gym and using machines. In the years past. If you'd won the CrossFit Games or if you'd finished in the top five, you were exempt from all the pre-qualification stuff. You were already qualified to go straight to the Games. This year, however, you have to participate in the Open and participate in Regionals. Um, there's three transfer spots in the Regionals to go to the Games, but um, being a past champion, they could, if you don't make it in those top three, you could get a special invitation depending on how they feel you performed. So. It's been pretty cool to be the newest member of Team BSN. Um, with the the last company I was with, only had one one product. So um, being able to try out all, all kinds of new stuff, flavors are good, the product's good. So it's it's been pretty cool. I wanted to sign on with Team BSN because uh, they've got a a great base of product. And uh, when I went and talked to the people with BSN, um, you know, they were real interested in kind of developing a product towards CrossFit and, you know, more natural type product. So it's been pretty cool to uh, talk with uh, everybody at BSN and um, it's been real helpful and it's been fun. Uh, the supplements that I currently use are Syntha 6 and then cell mass um, and the amino X. Um, I think supplements are very important, especially for somebody like me who's busy um, and I wanna, wanna be able to train, but I've gotta be able to get my calories in pretty quick, so I take the Synthesis 6, but then I also need the recovery from the amino X and also the cell mass. So, um, I mean, just all around supplements, you, there's only so much you can get from food, and especially if you're not real good about your diet. Um, supplements take care of that. Doing the CrossFit Games open right now. Then regionals is the second weekend in May, and then CrossFit Games is the second weekend in July. So. Anyone starting CrossFit, try to get to an affiliate um, would be my first tip. You know, they have the coaches, they have the equipment, you don't have to go out and get anything. I mean, it's, it's all right there. Within that affiliate, you have a, a community kind of set up, so you have a support group. People you can com compete with, people that, um, you know, kind of hold you accountable for coming and stuff like that. You meet new people, meet friends, meet like-minded people, so it's, it's pretty cool. Number two, if you can't get to an affiliate, if there's not an affiliate close, go to CrossFit.com 
and there's every single exercise you could possibly think of. There's a video with a demo on it, um, or the CrossFit Journal, and then number three would be try CrossFit. And it's my best my best advice right there. So.